So the 2016 Tour de France is just around the corner and along with it every year is the video game. And this year there's been a couple of leaks, a bit of information that has been brought out on it. And I think it's going to make this year's game even more special than the last ones have been, obviously. This is going to be the first video game that they've released for only next-gen consoles. So this will only be on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And with that comes far greater graphi graphical fidelity. Um, they'll be able to do a lot more with the graphics of the game, which is always a, a great thing, obviously, with the Tour de France going through some really iconic places such as Mont Saint-Michel and Mont Ventoux. Um, which is obviously overall just going to increase how good the game is compared to previous years. Obviously, this game has always been somewhat lacking in terms of graphical fidelity, but you wouldn't really expect it to be among the best looking games on consoles anyway. Um, as well as a whole host of new and interesting features, such as one of my personal favourites, uh, the ability to throw your bike over the line in a sprint finish. And although it may sound like quite a small thing, it's just all these little things that come together and just increase the quality of the game and obviously if you can throw your bike forward at the line it's going to give you a bit more of an edge over the opponents and it just makes the whole game smoother and a lot easier to play um, as well as pro team well, pro team was my absolute favorite mode in the 2015 tour de france i love how you could create a semi amateur team take it all the way to the top, acquire new riders, build your team kind of around how you wanted it. Um, and that was my absolute favourite mode. And now they've introduced sponsor mode, which sounds amazing. You're basically going to be able to acquire sponsorship for your team. And I assume that that comes with a whole host of new objectives as well. Maybe sponsor objectives such as, I don't know, having a rider in the breakaway for 100 kilometres or so just you know how they do in real life with getting sponsors on the TV and all that kind of stuff and I think objective mode did really need some kind of tweaking here and there uh, in the 2015 game it was a bit unusual and it really it went badly for you if you didn't do what the objective said even if it wasn't particularly what you wanted to do the objectives weren't always the best plan of action um, and obviously you gained a lot of stamina and recovery if you gained jerseys and stuff but now I hope that's going to be more balanced out um, I assume that this game is going to be released mid to late June about two weeks before the Tour de France actually begins which is obviously great because then you can play each stage as it happens in real life which is obviously another great thing um, challenge mode returns again and now includes multiplayer so challenge mode in 2015 was basically downhill challenges just go downhill as quick as you can uh, now the fact that you can do that two player it's just great it means you can play with your friends and again just increases the overall quality of the game um, so I'm really really looking forward to this and on my channel I'm going to be playing it a lot, I'm going to be playing a, a one stage every day that the Tour de France is going on, uh, hopefully I can set up a little pro team or perhaps just do the Tour de France mode. Um, so yeah, this is really shaping up to be a quite impressive game this year, um, obviously there's been a lot of time and effort into it um, and I'm hoping that these final tweaks um, all come together and make a brilliant game. Um, although I do feel that Pro Team does need some sort of balancing because in the 2015 game it seemed very difficult to get going um, in the Criterium International and Dauphiné um, towards the start and it seemed like as soon as you won one of those it was much much easier to then acquire riders. I think it should be more balanced between all three tours that you can do um, but yeah to conclude I just think this game is going to be very 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 impressive um, and I really can't wait for it I want to get my hands on it as soon as possible and start uploading as many different videos as I can maybe a couple of challenges maybe 
pro tour, maybe a season with every team. But yeah, we'll see how it goes and I'm really looking forward to it.